We're diving into phase two of the repairs on Mrs. Wizard's new to her GT500, and we got lots of parts off of this thing already. Let's get started. So you guys saw this vehicle on Hoovy's Garage. He showed it. It's a 2008 Shelby GT500 Mustang. He came upon some hard times, imagine that. And the bill was so high, he was like, wizard, this hits me at a bad time. I worked a deal out with him. Give me the Shelby GT500, I make the bills disappear. And he agreed, he thought that was a great deal. He didn't even know really what he was gonna do with this thing. He's like, here's the keys. Uh, thanks, I appreciate that. I took that car, as you saw in one of the previous videos, and gave it to Mrs. Wizard for our million subscriber celebration. Hoovy fixed a few things on this car, but there was another phase worth of things to do. The clutch was really stiff, and we're gonna find out why today. It had rattles and clunks and all kinds of things going on. He wasn't gonna fix those things, but now that it is our car, we are gonna fix those things. Let's head on over to the transmission, because it's out. That wizard, wow. you're getting kind of physical there. Yeah, I'm, I'm lifting weights with your shaft. I don't have one of those. Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't, you don't have one of these. No. Well, your car does. My car does. Yes, it's very heavy too. Ugh. Yep, this thing is out. Let's put this on the ground. One thing we did check was the carrier bearing. I thought it was clunking or something. It's not, it's happy. The rubber is all in good shape. So we don't need to mess with the drive shaft. Here is your six-speed transmission, Mrs. Wizard. It is beautiful. Yep, you showed it in the previous video, going through the gears, how it was a cool six-speed. Now we actually get to see the transmission that's a six-speed. Danielson's actually doing the work. He's pulled this all out. He's done a lot of the clutches we're installing, which we'll show in a minute. But the clutch was really heavy. It was pretty hard. And it, it was engaging way high up. Something didn't seem right. I told Daniel, I said, get that transmission out of there. I don't like that clutch. It's trash. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of here and see what we found. So you can see it has a new slave cylinder throughout bearing. This is a Luke version. We got the old one out. While we're here, why would you put the old one in? Here's the old one, which is the original Ford one from when it was new. And this bearing looks kind of rough and beat up. Why would you put this back together and then have this thing start leaking and in six weeks have to do this job all over again? So I told Danielson, go ahead and rip this thing out. I get a new one ordered and we got that already in. But there's some material in here. Let me show you. Look at this, guys. Um, I don't think that's good to hold in touch with our wizard. It is tons and tons of material in here. Whoever, I think before Hoovy, whoever had this car didn't know how to drive or the clutch was a piece of crap. Let's go take a look at the old clutch. That's gross, Mrs. Wizard. Yeah, and you kept touching it. Anyways, here's the old clutch. There's the transmission mount, which is still good. Here's the flywheel. You can see it has a lot of hot spots on there. It got really hot. I don't know if it can't handle the power since it's got like 570 something at the wheels now. I don't know. It definitely was getting really hot. Here's the clutch disc. It looks like kind of a semi-metallic or some kind of weird shiny. I don't know, but you can see it's got really hot. It's purple and pink. Let me flip it over for you guys. Look at that. Blue. It got super hot. And you can see it's a spec clutch. Here's the pressure plate. It just says spec clutches and flywheels. And again, Lots of uh, scoring and really hot spots on it. This is a single disc clutch, and I don't know that it was rated for the power of this car. Obviously that one, it wasn't functioning correctly. It was too stiff, it was engaging weird, and it was getting really hot. I didn't want that in there anymore. A single disc clutch just has one disc, one pressure plate, and it can handle up to a certain amount of power. If you start needing to hold more power, you get firmer springs, little clutch fingers, and gets a really stiff clutch. Another way around that is a double disc clutch. It'll have lighter pressure and be able to hold even more power. I told Danielson, I don't want this trash back in Mrs. Wizard's Mustang. Obviously this thing is not cutting it, it's not doing the job. 
I asked him, what do you recommend? And without question, in the race shop he used to work at, he's like, Wizard, you got to get him a cloud double disc clutch. You just have to. It's the only way. You're putting out a lot of power with this thing. It's not stock levels. And Mrs. Wizard doesn't want to put her whole weight to push the clutch down. He said, McLeod is the answer. So I definitely went with a McLeod twin disc clutch. Let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air and take a look. Daniel's son actually said when he actually got the transmission split from the engine, it was like raining dirt and dust. All that clutch material, it was not holding the power. Take a look, guys. This is what burning up your clutch does. Just, it's just tons of it. Look at all the metal pieces and ugh. As you can see, the exhaust is missing, the drive shaft and transmission is all out. And Danielson is currently on the way to finishing the installation of this twin disc McLeod RST. This thing cost me a little over a grand, Mrs. Wizard. I guess I'm worth it. Yeah, you are. Thank and you. you're definitely going to like it once it's done. It's going to be really light pressure and it's going to hold, which this is rated to 800 horsepower, so it'll definitely hold the power. He had some troubles because of the supercharger up there. It doesn't allow you to lean it back very far, but uh, it wasn't too bad, really. Got a new pilot bearing, all new, everything. Even the flywheel, everything's brand new on it. Isn't it pretty, Mrs. Wizard? I guess. Blue's my favorite color, but if you say this red one's better, I'll go with red. It is way better. So Danielson's got a few more things to tie up, then the transmission's gonna start going back in. You saw it has a new slave cylinder and everything, so it's ready to go. I really don't need to mess with like a short shifter or any mess with anything on the shifter because on these Shelby GT500 is actually very nice from the factory. It feels very, very good. So that'll take care of that issue. There were still more issues to take care of with this vehicle. Hoovy didn't know if he was going to spend that kind of money on the car or not, but he never got to that point to make that decision because I literally seized the car from him. I just took it. So let's take a look at what else is wrong. Hoovy did mention there's a little bit of like a tram lining. If you go over certain road surfaces, it pulls this way or that. And I know what it is. It's these control arm bushings. You can literally see the cracks running through them. With 210,000 miles, is not surprising. That one is bad. Let's go over to the driver's side. It has just as much, if not worse, cracks. The rubber is separating from the housing. Look at that, guys. Wires hanging everywhere. Let me get this out of my way. Yeah, I know you. You'll hit your head on it. Yeah, I probably will. So that explains the weird steering feeling. We'll get that taken care of. I actually have control arms. The whole lower control arms. Just put all new ones on it. That'll take care of that. But then we had some clunking up front. Let's take a look at the sway bars. I was able to locate that pretty quick. Grimes is actually working on this part, but we found right here, I'll move the sway bar. You can actually see it clunking around. Over here is even worse. So that's just me moving it back and forth. Can you imagine you're going over railroad tracks or something? That thing would just be dancing in here. Clunk, 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 clunk. We do have new sway bar links. I'll show you where those are. Here we can see a new sway bar link. It goes from the bar all the way up to the strut. The struts are good, so I don't need to replace those. That'll take care of that clunking. So just wait, there's more. Let's head on to the back. The same thing is going on back here with these bushings, and I'll demonstrate. These don't have sway bar links. They just basically bolt directly to the axle right here. But there is a bushing there. It's pretty tight. It's not flopping around. Let's check the other side. That one is a little bit. But wait, there's always more. I have brand new trailing arms. It's just, just as cheap to, to put the whole arm on. The rubber bushings here is separating. And also here you can see the center core part of it. It has a ring around it because it's physically just separated from the rubber. Let's check the other side. Same thing, you see a dark circle around the center portion there? That's because the rubber has physically separated from that. And we can see the forward part here has just got cracks all through the rubber. So pretty much a lot of the bushings and things and rubber related items of the suspension are shot on this vehicle. And I'm not surprised, I'm not even angry about that because it's like 210,000 miles on this thing. I expected to have to do that. But it runs and drives perfect as far as the engine. No check engine lights, no warnings. We got the coolant leaks and issues solved. 
the belt squeal he had with a new belt was what the solution was there. So once we get done with this thing, it'll be pretty well sorted and ready to rock. So once all those mechanical issues are solved, and oh man, I need to wash my hands, Mrs. Wizard. I know, you're kind of disgusting. I'm uh, covered in clutch material from someone improperly using a clutch and burning it up. Anyways, once we get all these things solved, this thing's gonna be nice, Mrs. Wizard. I'm hoping, I'd like to drive it more than the one time I've driven it. Yeah, you will. You'll have a nice, easy clutch. No more rattles, no more clunks, no more leaks, no more squealing. It'll be ready to rock. I wouldn't be surprised if it got another 100,000 miles out of it. I really wouldn't. Totally is doable in this car. We are going to get some new tires, though, Mrs. Wizard. These are pretty old. Shocking. A car we buy that doesn't need tires. I think, I mean, we did a video. It was like, what, 100 cars or something we've owned together? Yeah. It was some humongous amount of cars. And I think probably 80% of them, I always had to buy a set of tires. That means people out here are not keeping up with their tires. Check your tires, guys. Now, I apologize to you guys because I didn't address the issue. This has a 5.4 in it, and you guys know I hate the 5.4. But there's some misconception there. I hate the three-valve Triton 5.4. This is a dual overhead cam SVT 5.4. It doesn't have the problems that the three-valve Triton does. Those are horrible engines. The core of the engine, except for some of the performance parts they put on for SVT, is very similar. This is not the three-valve Triton, I promise you. It's a dual overhead cam supercharged version. As you can see in this picture, here is a three-valve Triton. It has one single cam per head. Those are the trash engines. They're junk. Stay away, run away. You say, well, wizard, I found one online. It's got low miles, it's been taken care of. I don't care. Don't buy it. Go get you a Toyota Tundra or a Tacoma or something. Go get something else. Don't get that. But again, this is not the three-valve Triton. It is the dual overhead cam 5.4, and it is very strong and very powerful. Some of the things that Hoovy didn't want to fix on this are not going to hurt the car. He was just going to have fun, drive around, and enjoy it, and not dump a ton of money into it. But when I own a car or one of Mrs. Wizard's cars that she drives, I am so picky. If there's the slightest little noise or slightest little thing, I, I can't accept it. I will not drive it. I have to fix this. I don't care if it's a grand. That's just the way I am. I can't tolerate a car that, especially steering. If the steering wheel's off just the tiniest bit, I, I can't do it. I can't. I drive friends' cars or family cars all the time, and I'm driving, and the steering wheel's tiny bit off, and I say, hey, do you notice your steering wheel's crooked? No, I, I didn't know. Guys, I'm so picky about that. I've actually got cars back from alignment shops that are reputable alignment shops, and the steering wheel's just off a little bit. I, nope, I take it home, and I do it myself. I get it taken care of. So we're going to get all the bushings and things you saw taken care of. There's control arm bushings, sway bar bushings, all kinds of different things going on, trailing arms, clutch. This thing's going to be sweet when it's done. I'm really looking forward to actually being able to drive my car. It'll be done very soon. All the parts are actually arrived. We just need to go ahead and do them. We've already started on the clutch. It's on its way going back together. I, I look forward to driving it with the new upgrades, Mrs. Wizard, as well. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Definitely wanted to get a video in for you guys to show you the progress. Before we slap the transmission back in, I wanted to show you just how much crap was in there. They were Maybe they were doing like uh, clutch dumps and just burnouts, or I don't know what they were doing. Very hard on it, I could tell. I also wanted to show you some of the other things that are going to be need to be done to this car and get this thing back on the road for Mrs. Wizard. If you're curious what kind of tools you use to work on this or any other car in the shop, check our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. We get a small cut if you purchase anything. We really appreciate it. Check out Mrs. Wizard's Ways while you're there. There's a link in the description for that as well. And hit the subscribe button for here before you go because we have a schedule full of cars, which means tons of videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.